suppose my most important message is that the motive to protect nature must come from people, uh, from the people themselves who live in it, uh, uh, and they must take an attitude of, of, of stewardship, a trusteeship towards their immediate environment, and then from that they can build up and outwards. But um, handing everything over to the state and to transnational committees and so on, although it might be important at some stage, it's pointless if there is not the motive that I call oikophilia, the motive that binds people, attaches them not just to each other but to the place where they are. And that's what I, I think will enable people to understand that they are themselves an integral part of nature and nature is also a part of them. Real people are, of course, um, people like you and me, but they don't seem to appear in the works of economists. Economists talk about these abstract, rational, self-interested choosers, and they have preference orderings. They, they organize their, their world according to a kind of abstract calculus of desire. But real people are not like that. Real people are attached to each other. They feel responsible for each other. They, they want to justify themselves. They have a whole different order of motivation which comes from their being in the world. And it's that order of motivation that we need to tap. You know, the, the motives that come from being here now. I referred to Shakespeare because he, he, he wrote at the time when the, the Greenwood idea was invading English consciousness. The idea that there is this this beautiful primordial place to which we once belonged and that we can return to, to purify our souls. And he describes this beautifully in his play, As You Like It, in which uh, the, the characters, as it were, exiled from the court, discover their real nature in the forest and then come back in a purified form. And that, that's just a poetic image of something which I think has been deep in English literary culture um, throughout the last four centuries. Equivalents of it exist. You can, of course everything changes, but people are constantly trying to, to find that thing where they can purify themselves. Even the Dutch have this feeling too.